So I've been wanting to put a waterfall on a table for a really long time and I've also wanted to do something with fire. So when easyfirepits.com reached out to me and asked if they could help me figure out what I needed for a fire water feature, I figured why not put those two together. So I sent them my blueprints for a table and they sent me back the hardware I needed to put a propane fire in it. And all that was left for me to do was make the table. This is my dad's big scrap metal pile behind the auto shop. I know there's some leftover pieces of sheet metal and stuff in here that I can use. We're gonna make a trough for the water to flow through and then a bracket within that for the fire hardware to sit in and the water will go down either side. And then we're going to put some arms out for the board tabletops. We're gonna mount the metal legs to those. And then lastly, we're gonna put our wooden tabletops on either side. So I think I'm gonna use these as the walls and then the sheet metal as the floor. So right now we're gonna start with this piece all the way around and then this piece in the middle. I don't have a great way to make long, clean lines. So I'm gonna leave these different widths. And I think that will be made up for, these are gonna go like that. And this covers the gap, and this will be on the inside. You won't see it, and from the underside, it will look like one straight line, because this will be straight. So I'm doing a couple of spot welds here on the top side, and then I'm gonna flip it all over and do spot welds every six inches on the bottom. I need to take these and bend them up so that the water stays here and I get a nice clean sheet off of this piece. I have to figure out how I want the fire to sit in the center here because that needs to be watertight too to keep the water from getting into the propane. And then I need the arms under this sticking out that the boards are gonna sit on for my tabletop and that's where the legs are gonna attach. I also, while I'm working on that, need to figure out how to get my hose in on the end here so that I can pump water into that end and the hose and the, the gas lines need to be hidden under the wood on the outside. So I'm sort of, like I have a general concept of what I want this all to look like in my head, but practically speaking, I'm kind of making it up as I go. I got the middle section welded in place with the propane rod 
and it is held in place by these brackets that I drilled holes through to hold it in place. And then I didn't want this to be going out the bottom of the table. I don't want you to be able to see it. So I ran it inside the table under this and it goes underneath this piece of metal here and comes out through a hole here, across through a hole here. And this will hopefully be able to go into the leg of the table. Now I need a hole for the water pipe to come in at the top. Uh, not a pretty hole, but it should do the trick. Alright, so I got the arms on and they're connected by this wing. The wooden tabletops are going to go on top of the wings here and I can drill through here to, to bolt the tabletops on. Each tabletop is going to be a foot and a half, one on each side, and this is a foot, so all total it's like four feet wide. The water comes up this side and is going to go down into the ground through this leg. And the gas is going to go down into the ground through this leg so that you won't see any of the water or gas lines. So this is where the table's going. It needs to be level, but the concrete's not, so I have to cut each leg separately. I have one cut to the length I want it. I'm going to stand it upright and level a plane to the other three and cut all of those at different heights so that the tabletop sits totally level. And for that I need to be really precise. Then the two legs that have lines going through them, I need to drill through the concrete and tunnel out through the dirt underneath to get the water and the gas line out where they can't be seen.
While I let this coat of paint dry, I'm going to start digging out here and putting my pond liner down, see how this river's going to look. So all in all, it looks really good, but there's a, there's a handful of things that need fixed. Water is leaking into here, which we cannot have. And water is dripping out from this side of the channel. In the front here and in the back there, there's like steady drips. It's also way too close to this top edge. I should have made this taller because now like any displacement and it splashes over. And then finally, when this blows in the wind, it splashes onto the concrete. I'm gonna take the grinder and I'm gonna sand down this top edge to give myself another like 16th of an inch to reduce the water level in here so that it doesn't leak over the top of this. And then I think I'm gonna concrete under these rocks so that any water that splashes back can hopefully flow back into the river and I don't lose too much onto the concrete. Because it's gonna blow in the wind and splash out, that's inevitable. I just can't have it dumping buckets worth onto the concrete and losing it into the mud. I wanna to try to keep as much in the future as I can, like that. All right, today we're at my brother's wood shop to build the tabletops. So I got all the lumber I needed at Home Depot and some screws and we are going to put these together now. So I sealed this with a silicone that didn't really cure to a watertight seal. Then I tried using the pond foam to finish sealing it and I couldn't get it 100% sealed. There were still like two little drips. So I ripped all of that out. I have put a thicker roof silicone down into all the cracks to seal them and I wasn't sure that would be enough, so I got this clear spray-on silicone to double that up. And this is a liquid, so I'm hoping it flows down where the water was leaking and seals it better. Total Boat gave me a couple of these to use on a project. I think they'll work good for this thing. Hazel, flip it over. <laughs> Look at Daddy. It's gotta be the rough side.
So that wraps up this project. Between the labor and the video, I spent more than 50 hours on this and it wasn't free, which is all the more reason why I appreciate when companies like easyfirepits.com and Total Boat wanna to donate supplies to support my work. It helps me reduce cost. If you're just a viewer and you wanna help support my channel, you can like this video and comment something below and share it with somebody. That just helps generate traffic to my channel which in turn allows me to fund these projects. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next video.